Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Praetorian. And Jinx here. And welcome back to Farming Life. So this is now officially out on Steam, and we are way off on the price. We had said $29.99 was our guess. I'm just kind of used to like all these small games releasing at that price, which is really expensive in my opinion. Uh, we've said that many times in, in past series where, you know, how all these games are setting at $30, it just doesn't seem like a, a good price for what they offer. Uh, but this one here is actually only $9.99. Uh, which is way less than I was expecting and frankly I think is a fantastic price for what you're getting here. And then on top of that, it's on sale right now, or it was yesterday, uh, for 15% off. I don't know if that sale's still going. And so it was like uh, eight something? Yeah, which, yeah, I think it's a great price, 10 bucks. Yeah. It's like mm -hmm. getting a lot here, managing some workers, doing some farming. And there was also a day one patch uh, that came out on Monday. So, you know, that was be, or after we had already recorded the first episode. So there was a day one patch. I don't know what all it fixed, uh, but hopefully some of the issues ran into might have been might have been fixed in that patch. Uh, so what are we going to do in, in today's episode, Jinx? Watch Oscar gripe about things. <laughs> what is he griping about? He picked the two berries and I was like, I don't know what to do. <laughs> He's just got two berries in his pocket? Yeah, like take them, take them to the silo, guy. Does it get filled up? Like is it... Is it filled? Uh, no, because they're taking stuff to the house. Mm. Maybe somebody was in his way. Oh, uh, maybe. I need yeah, to make Linda. the road bigger. Yeah, maybe Linda was in no, his way. No, he just does that. <laughs> it seems like the, the pathing for the uh, little people is just not very good, honestly. They have a lot of issues with it. Uh, so, I think we have to go to the, the store, don't we? Yeah, we do. Because yeah, we got like a lot of stuff and no money. All right. Come on, Oscar. Are you going to send Oscar? Yeah, he never gets to go anywhere. He never gets to go anywhere. I'm not growing corn. Yeah, we could bring probably quite a few carrots, but since, yeah, we do have a surplus of them, but you want to make sure you got a few left for the rabbits. No. They go starve to death. I don't know how often they need All to eat. <laughs> do they actually go over to the carrot feeder and eat? I don't know. I haven't seen them use it at all yet. There's chunky boys over there. Is that eaten from the carrot feeder? I don't know. Probably not. Yeah, maybe it's just... Oh, carrots are running low now. It takes a long time for them to kill the animal. <laughs> Is she still like, in there? Where'd she go? Did we... Yeah, yeah, she might still be in there. Well, look at your employees. Maybe she's... She doesn't have the animal, the meat yet. Yeah, yeah. she's still in the butchery. I feel okay. like she's playing. <laughs> she's in there playing with the flesh or the skin. Making designs or something. Maybe. All right, Oscar, go sell. So what's the exclamation points over here? You got a couple of them. Oops. Uh, sell everything in return. Uh -huh. See, so yeah, I noticed you have a. You got one right there. Is that the dog? Yeah, it could be. I think they need medicine. They're daily, five times a day. Medicine. So they need medicine on top of food? Yeah. I don't know why they need healing so much. I'm not growing hay right now. Like, <laughs> Everybody wants some damn hay. Stop asking me about hay. Are we going to do this mission? This is just a reminder that we oh, have this okay, one the, going for the mayor. Mm -hmm, yeah, the ornaments. Let's Got see. it. Oh, I guess we, we're making onions for onion rings, too. I don't think we're actually doing that, though, because you haven't sent anybody to... True, to to do anything with the, the crops. Yeah, you got like three people, I think, working the same fields. Oscar, go sell. <laughs> yeah, the bathing is definitely leaves a lot to be desired here. It's like The Sims, but like ten times worse. Yeah, I think the dog's in the way. I mm -hmm. don't know. <laughs> yeah, He's so that's... like, I'm going to run these animals over. I'm like, that's fine. Just... Get this goods to the store. Well, he just pushed the dog out of the way there. <laughs> oh, here she is with the meat. So she finally finished in, finished up with the rabbit. So this could be like a full-time job, right? Yeah. I, I'm thinking it's going to have to be. She's just going to have to be killing rabbits over and over again. rabbits all day long. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, because, I mean, if it takes that long, I mean, your dog's probably eating the meat faster than she's making it. The rabbits are really just feeding the dog. And we did not make much today. <laughs> and I'm just wondering, like, what... Like, if the, if the dog's benefits, you know, chasing pests or whatever he does, if it's worth the, the meat price. Yeah, the taking care of him. Yeah. 
You definitely wouldn't want to get a second or third dog. No. Not unless you had like a full, like, you know, cattle field going. <laughs> 30 cows. Keep your dogs fed. Uh, you can have them do those onions back there. Yeah. Jinx just keeps forgetting about the onions. People need onion rings, Jinx. Uh -huh. That's true. I need onion rings. So why did we make so little money in that last uh, store run? I don't know. It must have been the stuff you're selling. I'm thinking maybe we overloaded the market with carrots and nobody wants them anymore. So it <laughs> does actually have like a supply and demand I'm mechanic? I'm not sure. Next time we go to sell, we'll have to park and sell so that we mm -hmm. can look at the prices. Yeah, because... Yeah, we didn't make shit today. Yeah, and like... The amount of time it takes to go to the store. I think you, you need to, and I think I said this in the last episode, but I believe that you need to have somebody go into the store constantly. Yeah. Like that's like their full-time job. Yeah. Frankly, it really does feel like we just don't have enough employees. Yeah. We do have room for one more, so we could probably do that. Yeah. Hire somebody and then that would be like for their the full-time job. Day. Because as of right now, it seems like we, we can't really do anything because we're not earning any money. Yeah. We are so poor. Nobody <laughs> likes cabbages. <laughs> nobody likes cabbages. We need to shrink this field or replant something else because cabbages ain't doing it for people. Why should the cabbages be worth more than the carrots? Probably. They're like, well, you know, you, you sold like a thousand carrots. Nobody wants them. Yeah, so we done flooded the market with carrots. Like somebody needs to feed them animals. Yeah, just again, it feels like we just don't have enough people here working. I mean, this week, guys, uh, Battlefield comes out, Battlefield 2042. I'm really excited for it, but the the bad thing is that we're unfortunately not going to be able to get it. I don't think, uh, I don't know that we can afford a, a full price game right now. I guess we'll take a look at the, the night here. So. We didn't move. We didn't move, but our farm did get better. We didn't go down. I feel like you didn't do much today other than the, uh, the butchering. Yeah, we didn't really do much. Yeah, I think this is kind of like a... Because you really need to be doing the mirror quest. Mm -hmm. But yeah. I didn't want to spend the money to add the decorations because <laughs> we're so broke. Yeah, we're too poor. At least everybody will get rested, so maybe they'll stop griping at us. And then we can get someone else. About being overworked. Um, whatever, yeah, I think he, Scarecrow. I think he says that every day. That's his thing. <laughs> All right, so. Let's hire someone. We'll hire a new person today. So I think this is a new person right here, Pauline. She's got like awesome stats. She's expensive though. So does their contract price affect how much you're paying them like per day as well? Or is it just like a flat, you just pay them once and you never pay them again? I'm not really sure. You don't know how payment works? No, I think it's per day, but that'd be a lot, wouldn't it? You would think so. Can you, in our, well, it doesn't look like our money's going down like per day. True. Can you like click on the money up there? No, up at the top. Like, is there any way to like access your daily budget? Like, is there no, a budget screen? Just like, there's money. What about all those buttons down there in the quest mail? No. Nope. None of those buttons down there. That's all building or whatever down the bottom left corner. Because what I'm thinking is that there's no daily budget. Then you're just paying a flat fee to this person, and then you, it doesn't matter after that. And so, like, when you're talking about a difference between, like, you know, 30, you know, $30 or whatever between these two here, it seems like you're just always, you know, the best option is always to go with the best option. Because what's 35, what's $35? Like, and how much That's more productive? That's like a whole shipment of carrots. <laughs> Again, if you don't have to pay them regularly, though, it just feels like you're going to get the, eventually okay. they're going to pay themselves off. Yeah. Because okay. they're going to, you know, generate more value doing the work quicker all right so who's gonna go to the store today i don't think we have anything to sell <laughs> um just cabbages we need to get these carrots harvested no he's moving them just slowly mm -hmm. yeah he's waving at you like hey man i was already doing that he's like i got this well yeah i really want to to get battlefield this week but i don't i don't think we're gonna be able to won't be covering on the channel or anything either because we are hurting financially at the moment, unfortunately. And so, yeah, I don't think we'll be able to, uh, Oops, Polly? I don't think we'll be able to purchase the game, unfortunately. Have to wait until it goes on sale or maybe a holiday sale, oh, like a Black Friday sale. <laughs> She's got a hat. 
I guess. We're going to have to count sunscreen into our budget now. Mm-hmm. Oh, are you going to buy sunscreen for your employees? I feel like that's part of your own personal maintenance. I'm not going to be responsible for her sunburn. <laughs> <laughs> And not to mention she's going to get burned so bad that she's not going to come into work the next day. Mm -hmm. I haven't been burned that bad. Me too. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Had an allergic reaction to my sunburn. It was so bad. (laughs) Yeah, I remember uh, when we were in Arizona, you know, I didn't, you know, typically work outside all day. And I was doing this day laborer thing where you just, you know, work for the day. If you know what day labor is, you know, you just go there to this, this day laboring company and then they get contracts. And then they give those contracts to whoever's there uh, looking for work. And so you have a job just for that day, uh, hence the name. And so I was doing this day laboring job when we had first gone to Arizona and we were still looking for like, you know, full time employment. And so I had been doing this. And uh, one day, Arizona Heat, working all day uh, from like the morning to the late afternoon. What is Linda doing? (laughs) Carrying boxes. Like I told her to park and trade. She said she was gonna. <laughs> <laughs> now she's taking stuff to the house. Yeah. It kind of feels like they have to finish their task. That wasn't that even were... her task. Like, well, they, they also give themselves tasks. What are you doing, woman? <laughs> <laughs> Whatever she wants. <laughs> I see that. Yeah, the people are kind of frustrating. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, the pathing seems. It's like, just, just please do what I asked you to do. Jinx, but, you know, Jinx is also. People, it's like that sometimes. Jinx is also highly impatient too. Yeah. So I that am. that causes issues as well. Got some onions growing back there. Do we have enough meat for our dog? Um. Yeah. We got a couple things of meat. Yeah, it's fine. How, again, I don't know how much he eats. If it's just one per day or two per day, but that's something to consider. Because if it's one per or uh, two per day. And that means yeah, one rabbit is. Yeah, one rabbit would only be feeding the dog for for one day, which means you'd have to butcher a rabbit every single day, just to keep the dog fed. And that takes time. And Sam is absolutely exhausted, despite despite the fact that the day just started. Really? Yeah. Did he not go inside? I think he might have got a little bit of sleep, but I don't think it works where the, like their their uh, you know bar is completely filled every day. Oh. Well, carrots are four dollars a carrot. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm wondering if it does affect price at all, like if you were to sell. We got 738. Yeah, see that time we got a lot more. But you notice that We did sell y- corn. Mm-hmm. Corn the is corn is worth quite a bit. Cabbages are worth a decent price. And you said cabbages weren't worth anything, <laughs> Jinx. I think that's what happened, is you just sent carrots and they're not worth anything. Like we don't want your stupid carrots. Yeah, I feel like we should maybe you know, stop a little bit of our carrot production or yeah, reduce it. I mean, we'll get one more harvest, and then I think we should start working on like things that are worth a bit corn. more. Mm-hmm. So, looking at the animal products here, it seems like they're easily the best way to go if you're trying to make money outside of the chicken egg, of course. I mean, goat cheese. Yeah, if you can like. uh This is that production stuff, mm-hmm. though. Yeah, actually start producing things. Who need ostriches? But I mean, even the meat produces a decent amount like, we have, like some cows the price, like double over double that's like mm-hmm. a lot yeah they're ripping you off i mean like for them to pay you 14 dollars and then to sell it for 50 and who buys a 50 dollars steak in a store <laughs> no, <laughs> like, right? i better be at like a nicer restaurant i'm gonna pay 50 bucks for a steak i want them to cook it for me and season it go home those are those Japanese steaks, man. <laughs> the Wagyu. Oh, yeah, or whatever they're called. Those look delicious, but man, it's like we, we found a site because we were just looking at it, not that we'd ever be able to, to buy them. More like fantasizing if we could <laughs> buy them. And they're like a hundred something dollars Maybe. per steak. It's just ridiculous. All right, we need 15 decorations. I don't know about all that. We have 14 21. That's too So if you're really trying to complete the mission, I mean, I have to. We're what's the what's cons- decor- <laughs> We're going to put hay everywhere. <laughs> put hay everywhere. Put some benches. A scarecrow? We don't have a scarecrow, Jinx. I don't want a scarecrow. We have this guy with his hammer. <laughs> with his hammer. Like, what are you doing with that? <laughs> He's going to hammer some. Oh, that's a big old thing of hay. Yeah. Never mind. We'll just yeah, put Yeah, you want something smaller. 
You should put crates everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Just to complete you, the objective. Like, gather stuff. And these are all just cosmetic, though, right? Yeah. I just don't know why you don't want barrels. Maybe I'll put a barrel. It's only five dollars more. You can put barrels everywhere. I wish it would stay in the direction that I put it whenever I put it that way. Yeah, instead of having to do it with each each one of them. So how many do we have? Does it tell you like how many of uh how many more you have to get? Yeah, we need twelve wow. more. Wow. So those those boxes are the first ones we got. Yeah. Well, that's nice. Because I don't spend my money on shit that's not gonna make me more money. Can you place all these and then just sell them again? Just to get like some of your money back? I don't think you sell them. I oh, think so you it's just gonna just destroy them. Oh, okay. But you can't get rid of them at least? Yeah. Just barrels. Yeah, just barrels everywhere. Barrels of monkeys everywhere. <laughs> I was telling my, my story about my, my sunburn. Anyways, I, when I was doing this day labor job, I ended up working outside all day in the Arizona sun, from like the morning to night. And the first day that I did that, I got so sunburned, guys. It was like ridiculous. Like, I couldn't even move. I, I remember. Yeah, Jinx had to put like a. Uh, kind of, aloe. Yeah, I got an aloe on me. All over it. It was like a terribly bad sunburn, guys. And I was just messed up for days. And yeah, I didn't go back the next day. I needed a couple days to, to recover. Uh, but subsequent times, I didn't get as badly sunburned because I was super brown at that point. I remember back when I used to work in the, the sun all day. Uh, in Arizona, uh, when I lived in Arizona before I met Jinx, before I rejoined the army, uh, re-enlisted, uh, I got really, really dark. So I was working in the sun every day. That Arizona sun is no joke. <laughs> yeah. We had to walk around in it all mm -hmm. the time. Oh, yeah. When did we finish it? We were so broke, our car got repossessed, guys. <laughs> it was rough times. That was when we got out the army. It was so bad. That's when I got out the second time. Well, we got out in 2008 uh, when... You know, was we were during dealing with that recession, mm -hmm. that 2008 recession. So it was just like the worst time to get out of the military. Complete. So did we complete it? Yeah, we did. So what does he give you for completing it? Because it seems like it's not Level worth the, the money that that we spent on that mission. Yeah, but that's how you your ranking goes up, I think. Oh, just from doing missions? Yeah. So it's not affected at all by you building up your farm? I don't think so. I think it is, Jinx. <laughs> Maybe how much money you make. All right. That seems like an easy mission, right? Sure. Are we supposed to be watering the trees? Maybe you don't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Just wait for it to rain. Yeah. I mean, I guess we did have all that rain the other day. Yeah, I don't really know how the, the watering works. Like, I didn't even know you had to water any of your crops or your, your trees. Well, I think that that's what they're doing. Like, they do that as they're caring mm -hmm. yeah. for the stuff. So oh, yeah, do you have to tree. like assign a worker just to water trees then? Like just walks well, around yeah, watering they do trees. Yeah, walk around watering them. Uh, and then we got a little bit of rain, like a few seconds of rain. So you would think that we wouldn't have to water them now. They're good. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not sure how it works, guys. Yeah, see, look at this. We we have nothing but carrots. So you're taking like a, a batch full of carrots to the store, and like 50 carrots at that price, like four dollars a carrot. Yeah, you're just not gonna make anything. True. And it's like 200 bucks. So I think our, our, our problem here is the focus on the carrot production. It is raining though. So hopefully that means that we don't have to, to water anything. Again though, I'm not sure the depth of this yet. You know, like with a Stardew game, you know, Stardew Valley or a game like it's modeled after it, rain would, would have that effect. Oh, that cat is filthy. You'd think the rain would do something yeah. yeah it's just kind of wonky because you yeah, tell them to do to... something and then they'll go try to do something else and just like do exactly what i told you to do and nothing else yeah so we just sold those carrots and i got 212 dollars yeah and so i just wonder if that's even worth the micromanaging of, of getting them to the store and stuff you know getting them to load everything up and drive to the store and then having that employee doing that the whole time uh, so i think we should we probably should get rid of most of the carrot farming yeah, and just, just have enough for, for the, the rabbits. rabbits. Yeah, yeah. Because the the thing to consider is, you know, you know, the amount of time that you're spending on these things that your employees are spending on it, and how much money you're getting for it. True. Watch out, Oscar. She's crazy. 
But yeah, definitely have some complaints with the game, but I do have a new perspective on it now that I know the price is only ten bucks. Mm -hmm. That kind of changes changes it up quite a bit. I expect less from it when you're uh, paying that price. I still feel it's a fantastic price. Yeah, yeah, ten bucks again. I was expecting like thirty. Can't get anything Just, for ten bucks anymore. Yeah, the way these game developers, man, the way they're pricing their games. Like, how many times? Just this year, have we been playing a game where we were just absolutely shocked that they were charging what they were charging? I mean, shit, we just we just uh, finished a series that Jet one wasn't that like thirty bucks? Mm-hmm. And yeah, that felt like a rip off. That did not feel like it was uh, a thirty dollar game. Uh, what else were we wanting to grow? Well, I mean, it almost feels like we don't have like the workers to get the things done true. that we're trying to do now. That's true. Again, so that's why I think that we should get rid of the carrot farm. We'll expand our onions. But yeah, if we get rid of the carrot farm completely, and then put a new crop in there. Need to expand this too, so that we can plant more trees. Can you move all that stuff though? I don't know if we can move it. Yeah, because it Sell might. Some trees. So you're selling trees to plant trees? Yes. Yeah, because I don't know if they would be able to like get to the the back area, like through that bush. I think they put there. can. They'll be able to walk by the bees there. But yeah, you it don't just get... won't. It won't look good though. <laughs> oh well. <laughs> Normally, Jinx really cares about such things. I do. You gotta look nice. But now I just want money. We actually have a decent amount of money. Because I've seen pictures of some people's like sprawling fields and mm -hmm. stuff, and they have like everything cram packed in there. Yeah, I guess I guess it would make sense to be able to just put the trees next to each other like that, and then they could still access them. Mm-hmm. Need one more tree. Guess we'll throw an apple tree in there. Do you know the uh, values of the fruit? No, I don't. I was gonna say we should we should sell the fruit that's worth the, worth the most. I'm just planting random trees for the <laughs> the mayor quest. So I guess one question I would have is, when you sign somebody to field, does that mean they can only work that field, or can they like go to work another field once they're done with that one? Um, I think they only work that field. Okay. Yeah, because that would be a nice change as well. As yeah. if like you set somebody to to do something on a field, then they'll go to another field once they're done. Though I guess there's not really any like growing per periods, are there? No, they just okay, work I it see. constantly and harvest it. Yeah, so I think in in my mind here, what's messing me up is I'm thinking of the way other games work, and this game doesn't work that way. Mm -hmm. but yeah, since it does, if it doesn't have a growing period, and it's just a person working a field is just constantly producing more food. Then yeah, I suppose you'd want them to stay stay on that field. Now, why is there so I guess a dog that makes sense. Look covered in blood? Because <laughs> yeah, he's been chasing gophers and rabbits. I guess he got him. Just carnage. He finally killed the the rabbit. <laughs> oh, it took it long enough. Do you have milk for your your cat? I bought some, but again, it just feels like I know they're they're keeping the pest away, but it kind of feels like the the, the pets are more of a hassle than they're a help. Yeah, I'm like part of the benefit of having outdoor pets is that they can kind of take care of themselves mm -hmm. in some ways. Like, like, why would you bathe an outdoor pet? Like, true. they're just like a dog. <laughs> He's just going to, well, first of all, cats don't want to be bathed. And yeah, the dog's just going to, as soon as he gets out of that bath, he's going to run outside and roll around and the roll mud. roll in the mud, yeah. Yeah, you waste your time. Like, sure, you need to wash him every once in a while, but like, come on. Give yeah. him a flea so and take Again, it just kind of seems like a little bit more of a hassle than it's worth. It does, especially in the beginning where I'm like, oh, we don't even have any pests. Uh -huh. Like, just do your thing, you filthy animal. <laughs> <laughs> that might be why we don't have pests, though. Maybe they're doing a good job. Yeah. They're like, oh, yeah, well, you don't have any pests because I'm doing my job. Uh -huh. Buy another tiny rabbit. I guess it kind of reminds me, and I guess it's fitting for the price point. Maybe this is on mobile, but it reminds me of a mobile game a little bit. A little bit, yeah. Where it's like things take time. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah, you're just having to constantly click on things. It's just that, and the, the way the, the little kind of menu opens up when you click on something, the little wheel menu. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, it just kind of reminds me of a, a mobile game a little bit. I've noticed that more and more games have started to adopt these models from these mobile games, even if they never, you know, came from from the phones. Yeah, it's just what people are used to, I mm -hmm. guess. Yeah, it started to affect uh, gaming in general. Linda, stop! I told you to do things. <laughs> She's barking, Jinx. She's barking. Do you have to like cancel the current task for her to go do it? No, oh, no, she's done it. I'm just gonna give her time. I think another thing is you play at a slower speed as well. True. So like if you speed it up, maybe it'll, you won't notice it as much. All right, so we need to water more trees because I keep telling her to do it and she keeps coming back to these stupid carrots. Well, yeah, because I think that what happens is that they're assigned wherever their workplace is. So wh what's happening is you, you give them an order and then they finish that order and then they go back to the workplace that they're assigned to. And so I think that's what's happening. Now, I'm wondering if there's any way to like manage your employees, like to take somebody off of a, a work task, because then what you'd want to do is have like a worker on each field, right? Mm -hmm. And then they work that field and that's all they do. And you don't give them any other additional orders. And then you have two workers that you, you manually control. Yeah. And you tell them to do, you know, certain orders and then they're not assigned to anything specifically. All right, let's see how we did. I expect a nice boost. I think we did all right. Yep. Nice. Jumped up by 118 points. We're now in fourth place. Fourth best farm in the land. But you're only like a quarter of the reputation that Monica has. <sighs> Screw Monica, okay. You just can't compete with that, that cleavage jinx. <laughs> <laughs> Sam's going to have to take his shirt off. Oh, no. No, he's not. Yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> If we get in the top three, then we should get goodies. Whatever goodies that may be. You get prizes. Oh, do you? Yeah. Oh, okay. So was your former farm in the top three? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was the tutorial tell you you get stuff? Yeah. Okay. That's fitting. That's the way the, the world works. The people on the top who need it le least are the ones who get the most out of something. Yeah, definitely. All right, so we're moving the next day, and then, yeah, one of the first things we're probably going to do here, guys, is head to the store and sell some of our goodies. Oh, oh no. Okay. Fox stole our animal because wow. the dog was in bad shape. So All that right. shows you <laughs> that the animals are necessary. So the dog protects yeah. against, against uh, foxes, and I assume the cat protects against, like, rats and stuff like that, mice getting into your... Your grain. That is such a pain in the ass, though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you gotta keep them clean, Jinx. There's a reason for that mm -hmm. exclamation point on top of them. So yeah, you do have to manage the animals. Yeah, I think so we'll... a whole ass... No, the tiny rabbit. It ate the smallest one. <laughs> At yep. least it only ate the smallest <laughs> one. Not my money maker. But yeah, you do gotta take care of your pets. Oh, we need milk. So yeah, we'll head to the, the store, and then we'll probably... In the episode there unless it takes forever to get linda there whoever's going <laughs> <laughs> come on linda you can do it sell our cabbages we got anything else to sell oh, we got apples how many onions did we need for that quest oh yeah that's right i'll take a look need two more things a little honey. bit of honey that ought to sell well yeah mm-hmm and we should get good money for that. Quest from friends. Deliver four onions in four days. Why does it say 16 onions? Hmm. Maybe you get four onions from each little square. Maybe. And that may mean like four plots of, of onions. Okay. <laughs> well, we only have two days left. We'll take 16 just in case. Yeah, we have 18, so yeah, let's take the 16. But we'll probably do that next episode, guys. Uh, we'll just let Linda... Sell these goods thing. and get our money back. But yeah, Battlefield comes out this this Friday. If you're gonna be playing it, you gotta let me know uh, in this video or you know any video. Let me know how it plays. I played the beta, I enjoyed it, but I'll probably not be joining all you guys who play Battlefield on day one. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to buy the last Battlefield on on day one either. Uh, though I don't think I wanted to. That didn't look very impressive, and I didn't like the beta. Uh, for, for Battlefield 5. But yeah, if you're playing it, let me know how it plays, how it compares to some of the other ones. 
because I'm really excited to be able to get my hands on it maybe later this year, maybe for like a Black Friday sale or something. Yeah, Battlefield typically goes on sale mm-hmm. around Black Friday. Yeah, yeah, it usually does. Usually you can get it for like half the price if you just wait a month. So maybe I'll be able to get it. But yeah, I think we'll go ahead and end it here because we see how much money we got, which wasn't as much as we expected. It looks like 300 something is what we got uh, from that sale. But again, the, the cabbages aren't worth that much either, I suppose. Yeah. Worth more than the carrots. Nothing but. is. Mm-hmm. We need more industry. <laughs> I think the, the berries and the fruit probably aren't worth that much either. No, probably not. But yeah, we're on day five here. Hope you guys did enjoy the episode. If you did, make sure you leave a like on it, subscribe to our channel, hit that notification bell, and leave a comment. Do hope to see you guys on the next one. And thanks for watching.